What would happen if you tried to build a company based on the power of dreams? Think about it, anything is possible in your dreams. You are only limited by the depths of your own imagination. But when you wake up and you try to realize your dreams, you are again restricted by real world forces. You simply cannot escape the rules of physics, society, and law and order. So is trying to build a company based on a dream actually a good idea? Or is it only a waste of time destined to fail and a clear road to misery? Let's find out. This is the story of the dreamer Soshiro, the founder of Honda. As a boy, Soshiro was obsessed with machinery. From an early age, he would often help out at his father's bicycle repair shop, and he much preferred the clanking of tools in the workshop to the boredom of a school classroom. Born in 1906 in a village near Hamamatsu, Japan, motor vehicles were an unfamiliar sight for Soshiro, so when he saw his first ever car enter the village while he was a toddler, it made a huge impression on him. He would later recall that he could never forget the smell of oil that filled the air when the car passed him. Something smells good. Soshiro had clearly inherited his parents' creativity and skillfulness in working with their hands. His father was a blacksmith by trade and his mother was a weaver. But the young boy didn't always use his powers for good. Once, he was caught forging stamps that Japanese families used as signatures so that he and his friends could get away with not showing their school report cards to their parents. He manufactured the family seals using rubber from used bike pedal covers but was eventually caught because he didn't realize that the stamps were supposed to be a mirror image of what is produced on paper. It was pure luck that his family name, Honda, is symmetrical when written vertically. But his friend's family names were not. Hence he got caught when he tried forging stamps for his friends as well. He's not a bad guy. He just got caught. One day, Soshiro borrowed a bike from his father so that he could attend an aeroplane exhibition performed by pilot Art Smith. The fascinating demonstration he witnessed would become another vital moment for Soshiro, proving that mankind's dream of conquering the skies had already come true while fanning the flames of his passion for mechanics and engineering. At age 15, without completing his formal education, Soshiro Honda headed to Tokyo to find work. In 1922, he secured an apprenticeship at a garage where he worked as a mechanic for six years, gaining valuable knowledge and hands-on experience with cars. In 1928, he returned home to his village and opened up his own auto repair business when he was just 22 years old. Soshiro didn't just like to repair and build cars. One of his hobbies was racing, and in 1936, he took part in the first Japan automobile race at Tamagawa Speedway. Driving a turbocharged Ford, things didn't exactly end well for him. He crashed and sustained a serious injury to his left eye. Soshiro's brother was also injured in the race. The Honda boys quit racing after that, although it would not be the last time that the family name was associated with competitive driving action. Returning to what he did best, Soshiro founded Tokai Seki in 1937. The company manufactured motor vehicle parts and accessories, mainly piston rings initially that were sold to Toyota. The business thrives until 1944 when its factory in Yamashita is severely damaged by a US B-29 bomber during World War II. Then, just a year later, the company's plant in Iwata was flattened by the 1945 Mikawa earthquake. Following this terrible run of bad luck, Honda sells the remnants of the business to Toyota, and with the $450,000 yen he makes from the sale, he develops a new company called the Honda Technical Research Institute. In 1946, the bicycle was still Japan's most common mode of transport, but when Honda encountered a 50cc two-stroke generator used to power the Imperial Army's mobile radio sets, he got a bright idea. Why not use these engines as auxiliary power for bicycles? Look for bicycles and other vehicles. Yes! Honda quickly obtained 500 engines, modified them, and began retrofitting them to bicycles. The new motor bicycle was an immediate success, so much so that he ran out of stock soon. It was then that Soishiro made the decision to develop a motor on his own. And in 1947, the A-Type engine, complete with the Honda's family name on it, was built for the very first time. Within months, the A-Type motor was being mass-produced on its first conveyor line. The next step was to formally establish the Honda Motor Company. 
a feat that was completed alongside co-founder Takayo Fujisawa in 1948. The company started with 34 employees and a 1 million yen capital. Considering Soshiro Honda's humble beginnings, this was a massive achievement, although he was far from being finished yet. Expressing his desire for the company to continue pushing boundaries, Soshiro stated, We have consistently chosen a most difficult path filled with hardships. We must possess the will to challenge difficulties and the wisdom to create new values without being bound by established standards. We do not wish to imitate others. In 1949, the company launched its first original designed and engineered product, the D-Type motorcycle which Honda appropriately dubbed the Dream. I felt like one in a dream. Considered to be a true motorcycle, it featured a pressed steel frame and a two-stroke 98cc three-horsepower engine. The D-Type became the inaugural model in Honda's Dream series of motorcycles and set a high standard for the company to follow. While motorcycles were the product that undoubtedly gave Honda a leg up on the competition, the company soon expanded into other areas. For instance, in 1953, Honda branched out into power products, providing tools and engines suitable for agricultural work. The H-Type farming engine was a general-purpose engine that was originally developed to power a backpack-style crop dusting machine. Honda also produced the F-150 Tiller, a powered piece of equipment that breaks up hard, compact soil so that it can be used for planting. During the 50s, Honda rekindled his passion for racing too, declaring that the company would enter the famous and dangerous Isle of Man TT motorbike races, which it did in 1959. By that time, Honda had already cemented itself as the number one motorcycle brand in Japan and would go on to become one of the most widely recognized brands in the world. The brand that everyone is talking about. The company adopted the mantra of Think Global, Act Local. And on June 11, 1959, American Honda Motor Company, Incorporated became the first overseas subsidiary of the Honda Motor Company. This coincided with Honda's release of the Super Cub, a simple, affordable motorcycle produced for the world. It revolutionized transport and became one of the best-selling motorized vehicles ever built. Versions of the Super Cub are still in production to this day, continuing to bring affordable mobility to the masses. The beginning of the 1960s brought about an era of research and development for Honda, as the company established an independent entity named Honda R&D, specifically for this purpose. Some have referred to this division as Soshiro's Dream Factory, and the factory would soon start producing some magnificent results. After winning their first race in the Isle of Man TT, dominating the 125 and 250 cc classes, Honda started producing motorcycles overseas for the first time, opening a facility in Belgium in 1962 to meet growing demands for motorcycles in Europe. We're selling motorcycles. Okay. Following its success with two-wheeled vehicles, Honda ventured into the production of four-wheeled automobiles in 1963, releasing the reliable T360 mini truck and the sensational S500 sports car. Four-wheeled racing became a part of Honda's repertoire too when the company made its first Formula One appearance in 1964. Soshido explained, the moment had come to start work on realizing another dream. Trying to win Formula One was for many trying to accomplish the impossible, but my decision was made once and for all. I would have to put in the necessary time, but nothing could stop me from succeeding. The RA271 was Japan's first F1 entry and debuted at the German Grand Prix. Just one year after manufacturing its first car, Honda claimed its maiden F1 victory in 1965 when Richie Ginther crossed the finish line in first place at the Mexico Grand Prix. Honda made practical everyday cars too. The N360 city car was alluded to as the tiny Honda miracle, with its cute, clever design that contained a sweet, revving, air-cooled engine. Oh my god, oh my god, that is so cute! Motorbike sales continued to flourish, with Honda achieving its millionth motorbike sale in America in 1968. The motorbike that changed everything came in 1969, though, when the four-cylinder Honda CB750 took center stage. Its engine configuration would become the dominant layout among all sports bikes that followed. The Discovery Channel has since listed it among the greatest motorbikes ever, and the CB750 is included in the AMA Motorcycle Hall of Fame's Classic Bikes.
In addition to speed and innovation, Honda prides itself on improving safety and sustainability. In 1970, the company established its Driving Safety Promotion Center, becoming the first such center in the motorcycle and automobile industries to actively promote driving safety. Honda was also the first manufacturer to fully comply with the U.S. Clean Air Act, otherwise known as the Muskie Law, which was among the world's most stringent emissions regulations in 1970. This was in part due to the company's low-emission CVCC engine, and it was not just on the road where Honda was cleaning up. In 1973, the Big H made waves by introducing the world's first fuel-efficient four-stroke outboard marine engines. They proved to be cleaner, quieter, and more economical than comparable two-stroke engines. In light of this advancement, Soishiro Honda asked, what will happen to our streams, lakes, and rivers if all that exhaust gas mixed with oil gets pumped into the water? And followed it up by saying, I don't care if everyone else is making two strokes, Honda has to make four strokes. It's that I just don't care. Just before this, Honda had realized one of its most iconic cars ever, the Honda Civic. Having survived 10 generations and achieved over 24 million sales, the desirable model remains as relevant and popular as ever. In 1973, Honda co-founders Soshiro Honda and Takayo Fujisawa both decided to retire after 25 years in charge. They still held advisory positions on the board of directors, and Soshiro was appointed as the supreme advisor in 1983. However, he had achieved his dreams and felt that the company was in a strong enough position for him to take a step back. In retirement, Soshiro enjoyed skiing, golf, racing cars, hang gliding, and ballooning. He and his wife Sachi both held pilot's licenses, and Soshiro Shiro was also a talented artist. Both Honda and Takayo Fujisawa decided that they would never force their sons to work for the company they founded. So Shiro's son, Hirotoshi Honda, instead became the founder of Mugen Motorsports, a tuner for Honda Motors who also created original racing vehicles. I have flames on my car. In 1982, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers established the Soshiro Honda Medal in recognition of Honda's achievements. It was awarded for outstanding achievement or significant engineering contributions in the field of personal transportation. In 1989, Soshiro Honda was inducted into the Automotive Hall of Fame near Detroit. At the age of 84, Honda succumbed to liver disease and passed away on August 5, 1991, when Honda's Formula One pilot Ayrton Senna won the Hungarian Hungarian Grand Prix days later, he dedicated his victory to Soshiro. In his home country, the much-loved Japanese engineer was posthumously appointed a Grand Cordon of the Order of the Rising Sun and awarded the Golden Pheasant Award, the highest possible for adult leaders by the Scout Association of Japan. Despite having lost its lovable founder, Honda has continued to grow, innovate, and inspire. In fact, following Soshiro's retirement, the company has hit many important milestones. Did you know, for example, that Honda developed the world's first car navigation system? A precursor to modern GPS systems, the Honda Electro Gyrocator was the first to display a vehicle's current location on a map. That was back in 1981. When the GPS calls, you follow. The following year, Honda equipped Japan's first automobile with the Franz system, a system containing devices that supported drivers with leg or arm disabilities. Honda's power equipment continued to impress, especially its self-propelled gas-powered lawnmowers. Popular car models like the Acura, released in 1986, strengthened Honda's commercial vehicle lineup, and there was more success on the racetrack, with Honda powering Ayrton Senna and Alain Prost to a record-setting 15 out of 16 Formula One wins in 1988. The Honda Inside of 1999 became the first hybrid vehicle available in North America and was the most fuel-efficient non-plug-in vehicle in its class for 17 years straight. And then in 2005, after five years of teasing, the world finally got to meet Asimo, a lightweight humanoid robot developed by Honda that could walk in a similar manner to humans. Asimo, by the way, stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, and the robot was initially conceived to help those with limited mobility. I'm a robot, Frank. Is this your new robot? With plans to conquer the land, air, and sea, Honda has been working on energy-efficient cars, bikes, marine engines, and as of 2015, Honda Jet Aeroplanes. 
Looking to the future, Steve Morikawa, Vice President at American Honda Motor Company stated, We're not thinking about just today or tomorrow, but preparing for the next 50 years of mobility, and we continue to think about how we can advance all stages of human mobility, walking, riding, driving, and flying, from fixing up bicycles in a small wooden shack in his village to what Honda has now become. Even Soishiro Honda couldn't have anticipated the meteoric rise and vast expanse of his company. At present, the Honda Group has over 200,000 employees and operates in six global regions. Combined sales of motorcycles, automobiles, and power products totaled 25.3 million units in 2021. As of 2022, the Honda Motor Company is valued at over 46 billion US dollars, and it all started with one man's dream. Frank Paluk, the president of Honda R&D America, sums up the company's ethos by saying, everything starts with an idea or a dream or a thought. What goes on from there, where we take it, that's really what the power of dreams represents. Are you a Honda person or do you drive a Toyota Corolla? And what is your favorite Honda creation? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video entertaining or learned something new, please leave a like and tell us what you'd like to see next. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell on your way out so you won't miss out on our next inspiring video. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you again soon.